Sports. I'm Aaron Levine, and this was a tragic week, a devastating week with the loss of Cougars quarterback Tyler Holinsky, who took his own life. I admit I'm wholly unequipped to discuss the topic of suicide. And given this is a sports show and I never met Tyler, nor did I attend Washington State, I acknowledge you might disagree with the appropriateness of the messenger or the venue of this discussion. But I do so tonight for two reasons. One, the importance of awareness, and two, the power of community. First, awareness. We don't know the reasons Holinsky took his own life, nor is it our place to speculate. But we do know how surprising it was that even his teammates and family never saw signs that such tragedy could occur. So if this ongoing discussion can spread awareness, provoke more communication, and stimulate more programs to prevent suicide and improve mental health, then it's fully worth taking the time. If this conversation prevents another tragedy, Holinsky's death will not have been in vain. That's why I applaud the maturity and compassion I've seen on social media, an arena not always known for those traits, and the spreading of support for anyone who might be in need. And that's why I applaud Drew Bledsoe's poignant argument that there shouldn't be a stigma attached to seeking help, that reaching out for help isn't a weakness, but the ultimate sign of strength. If we sprain an ankle, we go see a doctor, Bledsoe said. If we're struggling emotionally, we have to learn to treat it the same way. And that's why I applaud the state's House Higher Education Committee for unanimously approving a bill this week that would increase efforts to prevent suicide and improve mental health at colleges and universities throughout this state. Which brings me to my second point about community. The reaction to Helinski's passing transcended all rivalries. It produced a unanimous empathy in a world that often struggles to provide it. We realize that same 21-year-old with whatever demons he privately fought likely lives among us in some different form, be it age, gender, religion, or otherwise, but that we can all do things, big or small, to prevent a similar tragedy in our own inner circles. The scene in Pullman Friday night embodied the virtue of community. It was heartbreaking, yet empowering, sorrowful, yet comforting. It was a family grieving the loss of one of their own, but finding strength in those around them feeling a similar pain. So while the memories of Tyler Holinsky will live on forever, it's most important that his circumstance, his hidden struggles, set an example and a reminder to all of us to be less quick to judge, that there are many others who fight similar demons every single day, whether they show it or not. Tyler Holinsky's death was shocking, untimely, and incredibly sad. But spreading awareness and embracing our community with a little extra empathy can hopefully spur progress around us that will ultimately become part of his legacy, too.